Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Homestead. We are in our homestead currently. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Now, um, I've been looking at the comments on uh, the episode of a, a few episodes ago. Nine. That's just come out for me. I'm a bit ahead uh, because I will be away for, uh, well, when this is out, I'll, I am away. So um, I'm visiting family in Belgium, so I kind of had to, you know, do a do a few do a few episodes um earlier. So I've just been looking at the comments, and someone said that um, Pam's Harvest Craft stuff is not affected by um, interesting by uh, the um, by dying crops dying in like well, I don't know in in the winter. Ooh, sweet potato. So I'm gonna try um planting some of these and kind of see. And have I got more water? Yep, I do. So let's have a look. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Let's let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is such a good tip. That is a really good tip. Oh, look at that. Onion. Oh yes. Oh oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Sweet potato. More broccoli. Oh, this is very good. Oh, that was an amazing. <laughs> that, that kind of that that goes a lot quicker than um, than normal stuff. So that is that is a brilliant tip. Thank you so much for that. Um, so you can oh he oh, uh, you guys can do that as well if you're playing along, which I know some people are, which is excellent. Uh, onion, sweet potato. I don't know if we can make anything else cool. Yes, we can. Baked sweet potato. Which is just basically like a baked potato. Anything else cool? Doesn't look like it. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out all the kind of recipes. Uh, have we got any stock? We don't. I don't know if that means we can make something else with that. Uh, yes, let's make some of that. Does that open something up? Don't know. Don't know. Baked sweet potato is one of the best things there. But um. That is fine. That's still a nice little thing. Now, today, um, because I'm away, I kind of don't want to get into the cart assembler again. I keep, I really want to go back to it. And it's interesting. Someone said that basically the reason it, I lost my drill kind of cart is because it wasn't done kind of making it. So I'm going to have to, when I get back, I'm going to have a look at some tutorials for Steve Carts and uh, see if we can work that out. But today, 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 we're going on a little adventure because, because there is a, uh, there is a pirate ship over there and, oh, and it's almost, it, let's, let's actually sleep before we go there. But it's over that way. I don't know if there's any kind of zombies in it or anything i have no idea but we're gonna go see if there's any loot in it because that would be rather nice so i will see you over there right there it is in the distance can you see it of course you can it's right there it's right there i've got a boat let's uh let's can i there we go let's have a little look see oh hey wow oh wow that was that was quite a lot of lag there Apologies, apologies. Let's see. I did one of these in Sprout, and there's quite a lot of zombies on it. This does not seem to have any zombies. I kind of keep thinking... I, I do wonder if um, there's just not any mobs unless there's a blood moon. I don't know. It's just weird that I haven't... I keep not really seeing any. Um, let's see if we can... If we can uh, nab one of these, I mean, it really does. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, just so I can kind of get on it. Can I? <laughs> oh, that was weird. That was odd. There we go. Right. I'm in. I'm in. Um, there very much does not appear to be any any mobs on here which I'm okay with I'm totally okay with um, anything back here in front here no um, I doubt there's anything at the crow's nest except maybe a decent view I don't know a um, lot of crafting benches Ooh, first chest TNT interesting 
interesting. I don't know what we can do with that. Let's actually take the chest as well. So that's how cheap I am. Um, a lot of beds. Oh, some more chests. Okay, well that's... I mean, I'm kind of glad of the apples. Any kind of food is, is good in this pack. What have we got here? Ooh, fire chargers. That is good. That is excellent. And I'm guessing there's some in here as well. Yes. Um, these are all dispensers. Maybe we should just take these as well. <laughs> I don't know what we can do with them yet. But I'm pretty certain we can use them for stuff. Stuff and things. <laughs> Destroying the vote. But I think I think it will be a good call. Um, some nice beds. Nice beds. Nice, nice red beds. I should maybe take another one just for when I, I go adventuring so I can sleep the night away. Right, let's just get the rest of this. There we go. Right, how many dispensers? 11 dispensers and quite a lot of fire chargers. That is good. That is some good stuff. Um, Gunpowder. Ooh, interesting. I don't know what I can actually use this for in this. Obviously brewing stuff. Um, a stick of dynamite. Interesting. Creeper wings. Wow. That is interesting. Ice charge. So, explosive arrow. Okay, so there's quite a lot of good stuff in this. Okay, well, I will I will happily take that. Happily take that. Thank you. Uh, where's this? Can I, can I get to you? Come on. Uh... It looks like you. Yes. Much better. Okay. More of the fire chargers and gunpowder. I mean, it's not stuff that we kind of need, you know, right now. The TNT is interesting. Ooh, an iron sword. Hey, that is, that should be better, surely. It looks smaller. Attack 4.9, 6 attack damage. So yeah, a bit better. Um... Excellent. What have we got here? So that's the TNT. I will take all of that. Another iron sword. Fair enough. And what have we got in this last one here? Another iron sword and some arrows. Well, that's alright. That's not bad. Gonna take a bed. And there's another little bit here. Another bed and <laughs> a boat. A boat and apple. I don't need a boat, I don't think. I think my, my boat should still be out there somewhere. It is there. Um, so, not not like a huge kind of gain. Um, we've got a lot of gold. Although, ooh, golden carrots. Oh, they're actually not, not amazing. That's quite a lot of, um, quite a, a good amount of saturation. Uh, glistering melon, obviously. Yeah, I mean, golden nuggets are kind of useful. I mean, it's it's free stuff, so at this point, that's always good. That's always a good thing. So, um, not not a huge kind of bounty of loot, but still interesting that there are pirate ships. I didn't kind of... wasn't sure that there would be anything like this, but uh, clearly there are. So, I will see you back at base. Right, so I uh, I just got back pretty much, and I was about to go sleep, but uh, as you can see, there's a kind of hue in the in the air. You can kind of see if out here. Can you kind of see it? Can you? Well, that's irritating because, yeah, yeah, so a blood moon's coming on, so that's a little bit annoying. I hate blood moons, mainly because you can't skip them. Not because they're very dangerous, like, if I stay in here, I'll be fine, like, totally fine. Um, but, uh, it, obviously it gets really dark, and I can't skip the night, and that is bad on YouTube. But anyway, I was looking around, uh, at the quest lines, thinking, hey, what, you know, what can we do next? And I just clicked on this. Uh... In a book, The Totempedia, you've read about mysterious powers that can be channeled through totem poles. Intrigued by this claim, you've decided to try whittling your own totem using a whittling knife. So, can, can we make one of these? So, let well, let's have a look, because I've never played with that mod. I know nothing about it. Uh, totem, yeah, there it is. Nope. We need a bit of leather, a stick, ooh, and a knife blade which is 
Okay, some that and okay, we I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Um so let's have a look. Have we got any Uh oh, I've just thought, do we have any leather bit? I thought we did, but uh <laughs> we might actually not. Oh man. So we have some leather there, but it is not it is not hardened at all in the slightest. So what I could do is run out here quickly. Put that in. Oh, it needs to be milled first. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to have to wait around, basically, for uh, for this to finish. Because, well, this is annoying. This is just annoying. Right, we are finally back. I finally got some tan leather. Oh, my, that took forever. And then my, um, my windmill is basically broken. I think the gearbox just, it's too cold, I think. So it keeps on kind of breaking the gearbox. So that was annoying. That was all fun, so I had to hand crank this, uh, like the olden days. Um, what I am looking for is that though, and let's go back. Right, so, so, totemic thingy. Uh, I've got, I sh oh, I haven't got any iron, of course I don't. Bam, that will do. Thank you. One of these, bam. Excellent, and then what's this? So that we get from that. Ah, uh, yep. So two of those. Then we get that, like that, and then I think that. Yes, ha ha ha. Excellent. So we should. Yes, we should have that done. Bam. Let's put all of this back, and we should get a reward for that, uh, which is in the home. No, farm life. Farm. Yes, uh, claim, Totempedia, we should, so we should, yes, we have that, okay, the Totempedia, a guide to all of your totemic needs, um, the mighty buffalo and animal which is known across the land, they are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health, hunting has left them near an extent, but they can still be created with, <laughs> with the Mandan buffalo dance ceremony, okay, Red cedar tree, large tree, useful for carving totem, can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy in the Zafkeel waltz ceremony. Red cedar wood can be used like regular wood, and you can use bark stripper to remove its bark. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, how do I go back? Oh, there. There's the thing. Uh instruments wow this is a lot more involved ceremonies tools miscellaneous totems and effects let's have a look creating the totem pole is a very simple thing to do first you must create a totem whittling knife yep this will be what you use to carve out your totem poles out of any kind of wood logs the knife can carve different patterns of totem poles which will lead to different effects right clicking or scrolling while sneaking will change which pattern will be carved Okay, can also use the totem whittling knife to carve out the totem base. Each totem pole needs one totem base at the bottom and can be up to six meters high. Totem poles will, by default, give beneficial effects to all nearby players. The effects depend on the carving pattern. A totem pole can have different carvings on different heights. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And that is how we make that. Okay, um, totem effects. Ooh, look at that. Bat negates fall damage and lets you jump further when you sneak mid-air. Gives you fire resistance, makes you mine faster. Interesting. Resistance damage, but also slows you down. Cow. Enderman gives you night vision. That's quite cool. Horse, speed boost, ocelot. <gasps> Prevents creepers from exploding. Pig brings you good luck. Gives you a jump boost. Let's you climb walls like a spider? That is awesome. It gives you water breathing, gives you strength. Okay. So how do we do this then? Bark stripper, totemic staff. Various blocks to give you information about them. Okay. This is all quite kind of cool and different. Um, so you just what? Do you just put wood in? Let's have a look then. Uh, let's go to our crafting table and 
let's do that. How how does this work? Or do we do I have to click on it? Currently carving a totem base. Um, okay, let's. Do I have to? <laughs> I have no idea how this works. Let's put it here. Uh, ah, okay. So, spider, squid, wolf, totem base. How? How do I actually carve it? Do Do I have to do it out of a wood log? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to know. Um, spruce, oak. Like. Oh, no. Like that. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Um, let's go outside again. Let's put this bad boy down instead. Uh, where's my axe? Aha! Okay. Okay. So, bat. What one did I want again? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Totem effects. Um, I really want spider because that sounds awesome. Wolf sounds pretty good as well. Rabbit, maybe as well. Um, so, cow, ocelot, pig, rabbit, spider. Okay, is that is that is that it? Um, spider, wolf. I wanted. Uh, is that is that? Is, huh, spider. Yeah, look at that. How how long is that? I don't have it there. I've got to be like right next to it. I do. But does... <laughs> oh, oh, that is. Oh, that is funny. Oh, that is funny. I can just climb stuff. Because I have. I have <laughs> spider power. Um, I like that. I don't know how useful that might be like because you can't take it with you unless you can and we just you I don't know you have to do more of that I don't know um let's let's do two more um and let's do what else shall we do night vision might be good horse with a speed boost um <laughs> don't know Fire resistance is pretty good. If we could take that into the nether, that would be amazing. Um, unless you jump further when you sneak mid-air. How weird is that? Um, mining faster. That would be great to take down uh, mining. I, whew, I don't know. Enderman? I'll, let's do an Enderman. Um... Enderman, thank you, and let's do let's do bat as well, just because. So, oh yeah, look at that. Well, that is that is quite that is quite crazy. I kind of like that. So, if we go up here now, we shouldn't. Yeah, we don't we don't have any fall damage. That is, I like that. I don't, I don't know if we can kind of use that kind of going around medicine bag. The medicine bag allows you to carry a totem effect with you, <gasps> so you can use its benefits for a limited time without having to be near a totem pole. Ah, <gasps> medicine bag, medicine bag. We need to, we need to make a medicine bag. So basically, you can click on a desired effect that you want to kind of take with you, and then, uh, is that a medicine bag? Yes, it is. Oh, I need a diamond, so we can't make that right now. Buffalo tooth, aha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. <gasps> Buffalo hide. Okay, so, I like this. 
I really like this. This is quite different, and I've never played with this before. <laughs> like, right now, this doesn't look like the coolest kind of totem pole. But I do like the fact that we can do a bit of that and whatnot. This is like... That, I really like that. So we might have to get into this a bit more. Hopefully you enjoy this. I think that might be all I have time for uh, today's episode. I hope you enjoyed a little look-see into Totemic, or I think that's what it's called. So yeah, Totemic, yeah, definitely worthwhile, I think. We'll be looking into that more. That's cool. I, can you see? I think all my animals are a bit annoyed because they've not really been fed. But uh, it's winter, guys. It's winter. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And, of course, make sure you are subscribed. Step to date with the channel. That would be very much appreciated. As for me, I've been Hector. This has been Homestead and Totemic. Let's see if I can... Can I, can I do this? <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. Can I? Can I? Oh, yes, look at that. That was awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>